scary moments in Stanley Park. A pair of horses pulling a carriage full of tourists, getting spooked and taking off, barreling down the seawall as passengers jumped to safety. Good evening. What sparked the chaos? A group of Kinder Morgan Pipeline protesters and an impatient driver. Tonight, several tourists are shaken up, but grateful to a man who put himself in danger to help. CTV's Ben Milger reports. Dozens of protesters blocked traffic on Stanley Park Drive Monday morning, hoping to send a message to the Prime Minister. So we're here today to make sure he hears very loud and clear from folks in Vancouver that he needs to reject the Kinder Morgan pipeline. A driver impatient with the protesters began honking their horn, spooking a pair of horses pulling a carriage full of tourists. They jumped the curb, pulling the carriage behind them, crossing a bike path, and then taking out a park bench where fortunately nobody was sitting. As the horses barreled down the pedestrian lane of the seawall, the driver fell out and tourists began jumping from the carriage. Some people decided to jump, jump off because the car was going every which way. I had to hold on for dear life. Eventually, someone walking on the seawall was able to slow the horses and stop them. The owner of the horses and carriage says nobody was seriously injured, but firefighters did treat people at the scene. I feel something when I stand on it. Although the horses were not injured, the Vancouver Humane Society says this incident shows why horse-drawn carriages don't belong in urban areas. It could have been much worse. The carriage could easily have gone over the seawall. Passengers say the carriage driver had stopped the horses to allow the protesters to pass and blame the stampede on the driver of the car. She picked her horn, it was either here, she picked right her horn it. right beside the horses and of course the horses screwed. All right, and Ben joins us now live from the stable where the horses are kept. Ben, what will happen with the animals now? Well, those two that were involved are going to get a little break. The owner of this company says even though they weren't hurt, he is going to have them checked out and cleared by a vet before he puts them back on the carriages. In the meantime, the company does have other horses, including this one here named Grit. He will be at work tomorrow, and the company says it will be business as usual. Tamara? Okay, thank you, Ben.